have so many more similarities than dissimilarities. Exactly, and then really, yes. I mean, the problems are very common, like what you mentioned about the climate change or others. So, And we are often at problematic situation. We are focusing uh, some small number of variables. And then right. the, there are some <coughs> other variables if we kind of talk about phenomena like this through the kind of having different variables. So we have those other things which are then kind of uh, shared between people Absolutely. and it's a kind of uh, limited point of view and that's why we shouldn't focus on the problems but rather kind of go through uh, solutions. Absolutely and I, I think there <coughs> it is it is in a way sad that like um, the, the, the best largest data is available today or are, are stuck with, with, with many commercial entities and actually there are very few large like the global data sets about, about humans and human behavior available publicly. Mm. And I would hope that maybe one day, I mean, United Nations or, or some other global entity could actually uh, start somehow gathering and like making these data sets available. I mean, beyond, of course, I mean, they, they do have statistics and so forth, but uh, in, a, in a sense that will be more useful for, for the li likes of the methods that we have been discussing. Yes, that's, uh, by the way, there, there are so many things we could be discussing, but I'm sure. uh, so, um, what is your take on, or have you encountered discussions or such that you could talk about related to economy and money? Because there are these all kinds of new technological kind of frameworks that the kind of uh, economy and money related communications, so to say, right. can be renewed and so on. But uh, have you seen anything kind of in a broader context, something that would be so to so a game change, uh, changer for in this kind of yeah. How, well, how I mean, of course. I mean, the thing coming to mind is, is blockchains and like yes, that's uh, great. And uh, it, 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 it is it is a, it is a good question. Also, I mean, so it happens that like money is such a central theme and uh, such a kind of a very tightly connected concept to power overall. Yes. That it, it, it is very, I mean, and, and like the developments that we, we saw happening with Bitcoin and the fact that like it started with this almost anarcho-capitalistic kind of a thing that like we, we can like operate money uh, and, and a store of value outside governments. And now over the past like two years, it has become obvious that that's not gonna happen. Yes. And, and, and it's just it's just like a way way too powerful and way too important to be to be left to the kind of the hands of technologists. And I, I, I think, I, I think, I mean, it, it is one of those things where like probably it can't be only a technological solution. Yes, I mean, it's a yeah. social and societal. It, it is very much. And like oftentimes, I mean, also this like applies to machine learning that like there's hope that like, let's say artificial intelligence is almost like this, like a deus ex machina that comes in the end of the play and solves all the problems. Yes. And then the same goes with money that they, I, I think, do think that like we do have to apply the same same like human ways of solving our human problems as, as over the past 5,000 years. So and that's wanted. why we can't be just the nerds yeah. who, who solve the problems for all the others because uh, the problem solving in the problem solving processes, the kind of concerns and the ways of understanding and setting the values needs to kind of bring in a large number of people where, of course, I see this opportunity that uh, in the future we could have more and more democratic processes yeah. because uh, it seems quite obvious that there are mm, imbalanced uh, problem, uh, imbalanced situations where, where decisions are actually made uh, by a very small number of people. Right. And that's, the, uh, it seems to me, to, to me that it's somehow quite unoptimal or that it's very local optimization. It is. And then and I, I guess, yes, there are many, many dimensions to that question. And of course, like one, one problem is that like, thanks to this, uh, like, a, like a very, very powerful, um, let's say, I mean, just the fact that like uh, how you see how people spend their lives today. I mean, I'm yes. like, I don't know what's exactly the number of hours in, in Finland, but I mean, like on average, people spend like hours like looking at their mobile devices, yes. which means that they are like uh, staring at, at some application made by some some commercial entity, and uh, and and then like of course the the, the, the fact that like the things they see, and uh, and the kind of the, the, the world view that they end up making kind of comes actually like quite quite strongly through that application and the decisions what's being shown, it's actually not made by any kind of democratic process. Oftentimes it might be actually an algorithm. And even an algorithm that's not well understood by the, the ones who actually made it, 
And yes. I think that these are like really major, major problems that like we should be able to make at least more transparent. If, if not, if so that's why there are like uh, areas like legal, legal issues and law yeah. or and that, that needs to be considered very a carefully. A absolutely. And then like finding the right balance between having some like a regulation and having understanding while not like limiting innovation too much. I mean, it is, I mean, I feel, I mean, personally looking back the past 10 years, it felt that like really that the field had been like pretty much a wild west in, mm. a, in a good sense and in a bad sense really i mean you you, you were the pioneer like building new homesteads there at the at the edge of the civilized world so <laughs> yes. to speak um uh, but i mean and that that felt amazing i mean it is it is a thrilling idea at the same time at some point i mean like, as those cities grow and then and, and like as you start having more people you need more uh, rule of law and like you you start need like a more more like a predictable environment, less chaotic environment. And I, I think, I mean, definitely, I mean, we are reaching the point of maturity where that is needed. But I mean, then the question is that, okay, do we then like move to the next frontier or do we somehow manage to kind of a, uh, like still, I mean, encourage innovation in, in those more established environments? Yes, so. and I guess that's the kind of many things are such that there are no absolute uh, truths or solutions that kind of would encompass all the kind of needs, but there are some aspect A and aspect B, like uh, information retrieval, there's precision and recall, right. and then we need to find some uh, good balance between those, that like Google always. then succeeded in improving both of them at the same time, right. and, uh, and the same way I have seen that in regarding questions uh, of pe uh, peace and, and war, so the question is that how do we make uh, security and freedom to actually be promoted uh, in parallel yeah. because it easily happens that one thing is being optimized and the other one goes yeah, down and so on so we would need to find solutions that helps help in in all these different yes. criteria around us but at least I'm hopeful through the fact that we are collecting data and we have these systems mm -hmm. because there's potential to kind of uh, approach these things e in a better way, not only to kind of take it for some specific narrow pur purpose and goal, but even yeah. a more like global optimization somehow. Yeah, yeah, and I, I think, I mean, at the looking, I mean, uh, related to the, to the thing that you just mentioned about like finding the right balance I think we are exactly at the situation that we have to find the right balance like moving moving kind of the solving these societal questions in, in the old ways and like uh, keep making sure that our democracies work as mm. they have been always working so I think it's important not to forget that like the things that used to work might actually just stop working if we don't pay attention so making sure that that works and while then like kind of utilizing these new advancements at the same time yes and not like it like kind of hoping that like only one of them can do but i mean somehow trying to develop both of them in in, in concerts so yes